so previously I explained how the price of a bone is determined and uh, we did a quick calculation with this example buying 10 bone units at a price of 99.405 will give a total of 994.05 per bond which is 9940 cents. Now as you can see in this example, I'm gonna just highlight this, the total amount for this example is actually more than that. It's ten thousand sixty one and eighty nine cents. Why is that? Because on top of the principal amount that is actually denoted here, and that's matching the calculation that we did before, there is something called accrued interest. I'm going to highlight it. So that's something that you have to pay when you buy the bond, uh, something extra. And what it is is simply the interest that has accumulated of, uh, of the bond on the time that you buy it. So since bonds are paid with a certain frequency, in this case it's semi-annually, uh, let's say you buy the bond three months before its pay date, its next pay date. Well, you have to pay the three months of interests that are behind up front when you buy the bond. Now this amount will actually be refunded to you because three months after, at, in the next payday of the coupon, you are going to get the full six months of interests. So that's why they are asking you to pay it up front, whatever uh, interest has accumulated depending on the date that you buy the bond. But that's because when the next coupon payment comes, you're going to receive the full six months amount and you are actually going to get that back. So that's the reason why uh, they do this and why the price for this bond is $10,061.89.